Hey, what up, Q? What up, Radio World? <laughs> My name is Quincy. My show, the Talk to Q Radio Show, it's almost like posting a blog, except I'm doing it live. What's going on, people? All right. I want to welcome all of you to another special Q on One podcast edition of the Talk to Q Radio Show. My name is Quincy, and this is my show. And without further ado, I will go ahead and get to my guest. Okay. He is back. And I know you'll probably recognize the voice, but I'll introduce you anyway. My man's returning from the United Kingdom, the UK, Mr. Grimes, Mr. Grimes Real on Twitter. I want to welcome Mr. Grimes, the Poet Warrior, back to the Talk to Q Radio Show. Mr. Grimes, what's going on? It's nice to be back. It's good to be here. How are you doing, Q? I am doing great. Great, man. Glad to have you back on here. I believe this is your what um, third appearance, I think. So yeah, um, that's right. I think that is awesome. That is awesome. So we'll go ahead and get right to it because you're like the hardest working man I know. And let's talk about a new project that you have. Um, let's 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 talk about Rogue Against Automation. Can you tell us a little bit about how that came about? Well, um, it actually came out on the 27th of May. It's been about a year in the working. Um, I'm glad that it's here now. I didn't think it was going to actually come out. But um, it's basically a poetry project. And how I created it, I felt like it was more like a soundtrack. So if there was a film to it, this would be the counterpart for it. Um, Definitely has more of a soundtrack feel but with poetry something very imaginative very creative so that's how that came about um people probably know songs like battle mask and choose wisely and ninja Mm -hmm. flow Mm -hmm. and uh it's well like i said i've been performing these songs before they came out so that's why people like the public kind of have more of an idea of the songs so when it's come out now, for me, it feels like it's old because I've been performing it for a while. But right. for a lot of people, it's still brand new, if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, uh, yeah, so very familiar with, with Battle Mask especially. Um, so you talked about it was a year, and at some point you wonder if you would ever finish. What is it like when you're putting together a project and you get in the middle and just seem like you're – you're kind of stuck. I mean, how do you keep yourself motivated to keep going? Well, usually what it is, um, the reason why I didn't think it was going to come out was because of the budget in terms of recording. Um, and mm-hmm. because basically that studio that I use gets very busy and I like to keep it consistent and use the same studio, the same producer. Cause if mm-hmm. I went somewhere else, it would kind of like, you know, trying to fit the tracks in with the same sound and, Stuff like that. So I have an idea of where I'm going. And uh, I was originally going to extend that project, Rogue Against Automation, but I just felt like the nine tracks worked. It just felt like it worked. So that's why it is what it is right now. Um, when you do get stuck, you get to the point where you just have to say, screw it, I've got to continue no matter what. Even if it takes another eight months, i just got to keep on rolling. And that's what I did. Okay, so let's talk about the name of the project, Rogue Against Automation. Can you um, tell me where that came about? Yeah, actually, it's also to do partly with the studio, which I recorded it in, which is called Rogue Studios. But originally, it was going to be Rebel Against Automation. So it's basically you're fighting against the machine, you're fighting against the system, you're basically going against the grain. You're not trying to conform. So that's where the idea as well came from. So you could either have called it Rebel Against Automation or Rogue, but I thought Rogue because it suited the studio. And um, basically, it just felt more, it just felt more comfortable for me to call it Rogue Against Automation as well. So that's where that came about. And 
as you see with a lot of the tracks, like you've got Vigilante Sunset, you've got Battle Mask, it is very much like a superhero concept. You're out there, you're fighting corruption, evil, and basically trying to make the world a better place in a system that is corrupted. So that's why I feel that that title really suited it. And plus, for me, it's a reboot, basically with my um, whole music projects and stuff like that and poetry, as you hear with the poetry song called Reboot Still Rising. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, it's basically a reset as well. Okay. See, the title kind of, it's kind of a throwback to me. Um, I grew up in the late 80s listening to Public Enemy. And they had an album, um, It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back. And they talked about corruption and going against, quote, unquote, the machine, so to speak, as far as um, the world was concerned, society. So it's kind of a throwback. And I I like the the name of the album because it kind of lets me know what to expect when getting into the music. And you, you do have nine tracks and Vigilating Sunset is one of the tracks I wanted to ask you about. Can you tell us a little bit about um, how you came about that particular piece? Very interesting because I actually got the influence from an old school artist, which is Rakim, as you probably know. Okay, you remember a okay. track called um, Follow the Leader? Absolutely. Yes, that was partly it. Plus, a group called Iron Maiden, they have a song called Fugitive. Okay. Originally, I wrote this poem a while back, and this is the new version of it, which is on the album. So that's where the influence came from. And I felt like when the producer, Alicio, did the song, it really felt like it was in the middle of a movie, or at least the start of a film. So Mm -hmm. it's very kind of like, you know, go out there, You've got to be a hero. You've got to do your own thing. You've got to get back on the streets, and you've got to make a change. So that's what it was about with Vigilante Sunset, also with the influences of Rakim and Iron Maiden. That is an awesome combination right there. And I, that's the longest track on your album, too, so um, yeah. definitely a lot, a lot there. Uh, another track that piqued my interest was Past, Present, and Back to the Future. Now, can you tell yep. us a little bit about that one? That one is also uh, an older poem as well. A lot of these poems, I have to um, let you know that they're basically redone for the music. So this one, Past, Present, Back to the Future, it's also part of the storyline and the mythology of Mr. Grimes, a poet warrior. Basically, everything has been resetted, and past, present, back to the future is highlighting that there is a distortion and there's a vortex that is corrupting the planet. And basically, we have to go to the future in order to save the past. So it has that back to the future kind of to it as well. Right. Um, yeah, it's, it's very, very theatrical and cinematic in general. So it give people an idea. It's very abstract for maybe a lot of people, especially a commercial audience to get it. But it's basically mm-hmm. going to the future to save the past standard. And you've got to be basically just have faith and just go with the flow of your destiny and not worry about, you know, negative forces. Okay. And, Now, of course, my regular listeners are familiar with you. They've seen the pictures, um, whether it be um, on my show page or on your on your Twitter page or or, or your home page. And but for those of my listeners who may be new, um, I'm going to let Mr. Grimes kind of explain what he wears when he performs, because you've heard the mention of superhero. You've heard the, the moniker, you know, poet warrior. So kind of, and you also heard mention of Battle Mask. So, Mr. Grimes, can you kind of give the listeners like a view into how you dress when you perform and, and, and what that means as far as your character is concerned? 
Well, they may be surprised, but I'm not wearing a T-shirt and tracksuit bottoms. I'm wearing a mask, a cape, ski goggles, gloves, and armor. So I'm very much in theatrical superhero mode. I've been wearing a mask for a long time. The recent gear that I wear, it developed over the years. It used to be just a mask and wearing a hoodie, but now it's got more into a superhero mode. And if they've seen the cover of Rogue Against Automation, they'll basically know what I look like. Obviously, that's in cartoon form. But in real mode, they will get more of an idea. So it's very theatrical, very superhero vibe. And I have, like, different color masks and stuff like that. So that's the best way to describe it, if that makes sense. I think it's pretty cool. I I love the album art. Um, And, you know, it's you and you're holding a, a mask or it looks like a head of a of a rival or maybe the, or maybe the machine itself. And, uh, um, yeah, it's a machine. I, yeah. Right. Yeah. I think it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I love the album art. So did a great job with that. And one more track I want to ask you about. And when I saw the title, it immediately resonated with me because it's something we've discussed, um, before on the show and that's the power of television. And, um, you have a track called TV is not a guide. Can you kind of lay that out for us? Well, that actually came from an influence of an experience. When I went to go and visit a woman outside of London, this is years ago, I went to visit her for the first time, and it was just a crazy um, situation because usually if you go to visit somebody, you know, you're going to have a good time, you're going to communicate and stuff like that. But when I got there, it was all about the TV. There was no communication with me and her and even her family. Everybody was hooked on the TV, literally. It doesn't matter what was going on, you know, in the room. The TV had them hypnotized. I just Mm -hmm. couldn't get a conversation. So it was really bad in terms of that experience. But it made me realize how powerful TV is and how it can really, like, water people down even with their communication skills so you meet some people and they don't know how to communicate and the tv is basically a mechanism that kind of waters people down and they believe everything that is on the tv right when it comes to propaganda you know from terrorism political ideas and it becomes their ideas And anything you try to tell them that's different, they don't want to hear it. So that experience, when I went to that woman's house, it wasn't cool because, you know, it was a very hard time trying to communicate with her because the TV really had her hooked, man. It was crazy. So I was kind of just, you know, glad that I got out there um, as soon as possible as I could. But it was just not a cool experience. But that's where TV is not a god came from, basically. Wow, okay, so that was personal, so, wow. Yeah, I know that's a bit bit too personal, but that's basically where the idea has come from. And, yeah. uh, you know, I thought, hey, why not do a poem about it? Okay. All right, so, yeah, Rogue Against Automation came out May 27th. So for those of you who don't have it yet, you're late. But um, as far as upcoming shows, uh, July is going to be the art of music. Can you tell us a little bit about that, and will you be performing? Yes, I most definitely will be performing. This event is hosted by the photographer Martin Petty. It basically combines music and photography. So while each artist is performing, the photography is showcased behind them. So the first venue I will be at will be at the 8th of July, and it's called the Most Art Centre in Stoke Newington. So if you've got people that are coming over in London, come and check it out. What I'll do is I'll give you all the details, and then you can put it on your website if you want. Okay, yeah, that will be great. That will be great. And you say July 8th, but what is it called again? Most uh, Most Art Center. 
Okay. Yeah, yes. that's the first one. Um, so but I can also go on... Awesome. Oh, sorry? I say if you can forward that information, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. And they can also go on to the Art of the Music Facebook page, and I'll send you that link as well, and they can check it out. Okay. So the event itself, um, it's, it's, it sounds like it's pretty big. I like how it um, allows artists to collaborate, visual and audio artists. So um, it seemed like a pretty nice opportunity to – to, to kind of do it all there. Is it normally a pretty popular event, and how long has it been going on? Has it been going on for quite some time? Well, um, I did this last year, um, September time, and I did one again in December. So this will be the third time that it's happening. Okay. Usually we have, like, a different range of artists, and, you know, the first one was really good, the one we done in September, so hopefully this time around, this one will be really popular. All right. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something that's going to continue to grow the more that they put it on. And so I want to step back just a second um, and kind of get into how, how this Mr. Grimes started. Okay, because, like, for me – I started my radio show because I felt like there were opinions that I wanted to kind of get out there. You know, there were things I had to say. What exactly kind of motivated you to your start, you know, and then to push you into the man versus machine mode and, and create the Mr. Grimes we know today? Well, it's, well, that's a long story. I'll try and make it short. I mean, I've been writing since 14, and when I did it in the beginning, it was just a mess around thing. You know, you're just trying to discover who you are and what to write about, and and you write about some crazy stuff. But then over the years, it developed more and more. And originally with Mr. Grimes, I wanted to create my own comic book character anyway. So what happened was I ended up just combining the writing stuff with the comic book stuff. And then the uh-huh. character came about, Mr. Grimes. And originally I used to wear just like a, a dust mask. But then the mask thing developed. Everything just developed over years and years. And here I am today. That's just basically the short version of it. Because if I tell you right. the long version, man, we'll be here for another two days. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. And I, I like the... The, not only the evolution of the the mask and the outfit, but I think it adds more than just a visual for the fans to, to to check out. I think it it gives you it's a marketing you know strategy, so to speak. When people see you, the next time they happen to come across you, they're going to know who you are. They're going to say, "Oh, that's that guy, Mr. Grimes, I saw at this spot." a few weeks ago because they're going to recognize the mask and the the outfit and they're going to know what you're about. And I think it's a great marketing strategy, actually. So Exactly. I mean, many times when I go to a lot of events, everybody looks like they've just come out of work or they've come from home. Yeah. They don't really stand out a lot of people. But for me, I always thought that it's always good to have stage presence when you go and you perform. You know, regardless if you're doing poetry readings, if you're playing in a band, have some kind of stage presence. Mm -hmm. People remember you, whether they like you or not. You know, I think it's just good to have some kind of presence on stage, no doubt. Yes. I agree. I agree. So... I think that's um, a a nice concept that benefits you in more ways than one. So, all right. So we'll get ready to wrap things up. Rogue Against Automation, it dropped May 27th. And where can everyone find the the project? Where where can we go if we want to check it out for ourselves? Well, um, if you see me in London, 
you can get a physical copy of the CD. But online, you can get it on iTunes, Google Play, CD Baby. Okay. So iTunes, Google Play, CD Baby. Definitely yeah. very popular spots for people to go and check out the music. Nine tracks. Nine tracks. Be sure to check them out. Um, one of them you've probably already heard if you listen to this show, Battle Mask. Um, and the other ones, I'm pretty sure, grow to be your favorites as well. And don't forget the Art of Music in July, and you'll be performing July the 8th, correct? Yeah, it's called uh, Art of the Music. Art of July the Music, 8th. okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so for all my listeners that I have overseas um, who are in the U.K. or happening to be visiting the U.K. at that time, let let Mr. Grimes know you heard him on T2Q, all right? Let him know. I'm pretty sure he'll love that. I'll, that I'll put a smile on his face to know that my listeners are paying attention. So, <laughs> I, I sure do need it right now, so that would be excellent. Okay, okay. So, all right. Well, did you have anything else before we get out of here? How can people reach you? You know, where can they find you on Twitter? Where can they get at you? Okay, so you can get at me on Twitter at Mr. Grimes Real. It's also the same for Instagram, Mr. Grimes Real, Facebook, Mr. Grimes Official. And if you just type in Mr. Grimes Poet Warrior, I'll come up on YouTube and you can find me there. So, yes, I'm easy to find. I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> Definitely check him out on YouTube and watch this guy work. And this is Mr. Grimes, G-R-I-M-E-Z. Definitely check him out on YouTube. All right. And you can see him in action. So, and also, oh, I, I got to let you do your tagline because you know I love your tagline. Of course. I might extend it, but hey, um, never let the parasites win. F the beef, increase the peace. <laughs> the beef, increase the peace. I love it. Love it. Mr. Grimes, always a pleasure to have you on Talk to you Radio. It's been my pleasure. And so we'll go ahead and, and add, I want to I would like to close out the show with, with one of your songs. Do you have one in particular particular you like for me? to drop on my listeners something that they can check out? Yes. Um, choose wisely. Okay, okay. And why choose wisely? It seems to be a song that people like and connect with. So, hey, choose wisely or maybe Ninja Flow. Okay, okay. And what we'll do, we'll go ahead and drop a track for... Mr. Grimes, the Poet Warrior, let you all check it out, let you get a sample. And like he says, you can find him on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. I mean, he's all over the place. You can Google Mr. Grimes, Poet Warrior, and you'll have a ton of options. But um, I definitely want to take the time for you to um, take, thank you for taking the time to join the Talk to Q radio show this, this day, and uh, we'll do it again in the future. Of course past, present, back to the future. <laughs> all right. So my thanks to you and to all my listeners out there, go to talktoq.com, sign up for the email newsletter, and keep up with the show that way. You can follow me on Twitter at talk to q and that's talk, the number two Q. Everyone have a great day. Peace out. Never jump before your walk, choose wisely. Never jump before your walk, choose wisely. Never jump before your walk, you got to choose wisely. Never jump before your walk, choose wisely. Never jump before your walk, choose wisely. Never jump before your walk, you got to choose 
wisely. Flow is mother nature or become a machine. Trust your own decisions, forget about other people's schemes. Try to be wise with every move that you make. Don't let a fool misguide you down a dark road. Sometimes you got to go it on your own, but you got to keep on stepping, stepping, and you got to keep on rapping. Choose wisely, never jump before you walk, choose wisely. Never jump before you walk, choose wisely. Never jump before you walk, you got to choose wisely. Never jump before you walk, choose wisely. Never jump before you walk, choose wisely. Never jump before you walk, choose wisely. Parasites on your back. What? Non-believers on your back. What? Drones on your back. What? Parasites on your back But you got to keep on stepping It doesn't matter what people say Please keep on moving Just keep on moving Career dedicated on a mission like a 007 agent Roger Moore archetype, live and let die A view to kill, the media hype Oh no, robot time is wasted Forget that, flow with mother nature's greatness no one can create your truth Just speak for yourself You ain't got nothing to lose Choose wisely Never jump before you walk Choose wisely Never jump before you walk You got to choose wisely Never jump before you walk Choose wisely Never jump before you walk Choose wisely Never jump before you walk You got to choose wisely Never jump before you walk Never jump before you walk Never jump before you walk, you got to choose wisely. Never jump before you walk. Never jump before you walk. Never jump before you walk, you got, you got to choose wisely. You got to choose wisely.